What's amazing to the eyes of a child isn't always the same in the eyes of an adult. But at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, what you have is a place of wonder wrapped in nostalgia that stirs a childlike sense of awe in all ages. When I visited with my children, who were ages six and seven at the time, it was during that time they're in a stage of learning in which the way the world works and discovering the accomplishments of the human race reveal themselves like moments of clarity. They are also admittedly a generation that demands entertainment. For that, Kennedy Space Center does not disappoint. The Space Shuttle Atlantis exhibit is the centerpiece and kids could spend hours in there. But that first moment when you see it is something special. There's no getting around it. We're small, Atlantis is big. But aside from the orbiter, the exhibit is massive with all sorts of interactive exhibits on two floors that beg for little hands to press buttons, turn cranks, and basically take control. So you literally see heads dart back and forth taking in this massive spectacle and all the nooks and crannies that just have to be explored. Decisions, decisions, decisions. There's a miniature International Space Station they'll crawl through suspended 26 feet in the air, and an entertaining recreation of a shuttle landing that lets riders of all sizes make banking turns in a queue line that culminates with a 22 degree slide down to the bottom floor for touchdown. Those space fans that are 44 inches tall can hop on the shuttle launch experience, which has been around since 2007, but is now incorporated into the Atlantis exhibit. But that's just one, well, not so small part of KSC. There's the relatively new Angry Birds exhibit that will be sure to engage Generation Swipe, but also IMAX movies, the massive Apollo Saturn V Center that will blow you away with the sheer size of the suspended Saturn V rocket that sent the Apollo missions to the moon. That's all right above your head. It's huge. There's the bus tour, which is a chore for really young folk, but seven and up could probably take it. And don't forget the rocket garden, the children's play dome, astronaut memorial, and of course the gift shops. You'll probably have to buy some astronaut ice cream as well. A day at Kennedy Space Center with the kids is one that everyone will enjoy, and you won't forget it. For OrlandoSentinel.com, I'm Richard Trebu.